All right, hi everybody, it's Lisa Joy Young and Miss Faithy here, and today we're gonna to be doing a Halloween princess. I bought this tag cake, so you can see the colors, and it's really cute, and I wanted to show you at least one design you could do with it. Um, I have a boy design coming up next, hopefully before the end of next weekend, so keep your eye out for that one. Um, but for today, we'll be doing the princess, and I have the colors loaded on my sponge here. And I'm going to be doing the sponging of a crown. All right, so I have those colors on my sponge. And I'm going to put the purple down because the gold will blend easier into the skin and it'll just look better. I'm going to start with the entire length going this way. And just make kind of like a teardrop shape like that with my sponge. Now I'm going to do the same thing and make another shape like that over here okay and one last time I'm gonna do the same thing over here so if you get any extra paint where it doesn't belong all you have to do is really quickly just wipe it away and then you're as good as new all right now I'm gonna take my sponge again and just go over her eyes and have it come out to put some color in there and yeah, it's kind of getting all over, but that's okay because I'm going to just wipe it away like I did the other one. All right, now I'm going to start on the webs. So you're going to want all these webs to point, actually you're going to want all the webs to point right at this tip right there. So I'm going to start right down the center, all the way at the top. Push my brush down and drag it. Obviously I did not have enough paint on there. Let me get some more paint. All right, so I got more paint on my brush. I also got a little bit of a skinnier brush, so it would be a more delicate look to it. So once again, you're going to press and go all the way down. All right. Okay, so I'm going to make this one a little lower and start about right here and press my brush. And drag it all the way down and one smaller one right here. Okay. Now, if you're doing this head on, these are going to be a lot straighter. This is hard for me because I'm behind her right now. The same thing going this way. So down and down, just like that. Now I'm just going to, with really thin lines, I'm going to connect these um, with the little U's that you usually do for a spider web. So just quickly, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, I can do the same thing over here, but at an angle. All right, so I'm gonna start with the larger one like I did before. It's gonna be in the middle and going this way. So practice your teardrops. These longer teardrops are a little harder to do. You have to have a steady hand for them. And another one. And another one. And then off of this one, I'm going to do a little swirl just to make it look a little more girly. So just a little swirl. So I'm going to quickly connect these as well. One, two, three. One, two, three, and you know what? I think I'll connect these together as well. So it kind of brings it all together, okay? Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. What about if you accidentally face painting my butt so it's bubbling? <laughs> that would be gross. All right, now I'm going to just do some little dots, just quick, so little, big, little big just around to the corner of her eye right there and it kind of completes it and brings it around the face so little big little big okay all right so I'm going to take some white paint and just do um, some dots here and there like I did with the uh, which one I did recently and this just makes the webs look a lot prettier and like they're sparkling 
Now I have some duo eyelash glue and a purple little gem here. And I think this has latex in it, so you always want to make sure your kids um, aren't allergic before you put this on them. Whoa. What? It all came out at once. Uh, just a dot, not a lot. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to put that right here where everything was pointing to. So I've got some bling going on. And I'm going to just put a couple orange ones that are smaller um, right at the corners of her eyes. And then a few more at the very tips of our spider web. So one right here. And the white will dry clear, so it's okay if it isn't perfect. It'll dry so it looks perfect. And one right here. And last but not least, one right here. All right, let me put some glitter on it and she'll be all done. All right, everybody, so that's it. It's just a really cute and really fast um, spider princess crown. And I actually had a lot more planned for this design. I was going to bring it down here, but um, I had the most uncooperative child ever to work with today. And if it doesn't show in the video, it's because I edited the heck out of this thing. Um, but that's a good <laughs> lesson to learn. If you are painting on a kid who is just not having it like I was today, and oh my gosh, I'm a little stressed out right now, um, you need to just cut your design short and get them out of your chair, which is what I'm going to do right now. Get out of here, Faith. Out of here. Out of here. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hi, you guys. Caleb wanted to say hi. He hasn't seen you guys in a while. Hello. And also, um, I forgot to tell you that I hope that you guys can use that um, design at an event soon. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and check me out on Facebook. I'm under Lisa Joy Young. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>